the sun's in my eyes. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. So I haven't really been that in the mood to vlog on this like trip that we've been on. Right now we're in Italy at Lake Como. And today I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video. So yeah, it's going to be different from my last, yeah, my last two what I eat in a day videos because they're like things I kind of regularly eat. So it's going to be more eating out. Eating out is kind of considered to be, you know, not great if you're on any kind of diet or you're trying to lose weight or anything like that. The reason being, eating out can actually just add a whole lot more calories than you actually really need. You don't know what they're adding extra in the food as well. Say if you eat like Chinese food, for example, a lot of that food has additional sugar that you might not necessarily put in if you made your own little stir fry. Eating out can pretty much like double the calories, to be honest, of what I would normally have, but I mean, I can't just never eat out. I have to, you know, have fun, live my life. Yeah, do normal stuff. So on this trip, I'm gonna show you how I eat out and yeah, what kind of things I order. I actually eat out quite a lot at home, but it's more like, like picking up food on the go. And I still eat very healthy. And I do it because of my lifestyle. Like it's not realistic for me to never ever not eat on the go, you know? I mean, of course I could like meal prep and stuff. A lot of people meal prep, but um, yeah, I haven't got time for that. I'd rather be making YouTube videos. Right now we're in Lecco and we're driving up to Bellagio and then we're gonna have our first little meal here. Step is better on the stairs than me. He's got quicker feet. Anything to do with stairs is always such a great bum workout. It's like doing little lunges. Okay, so we've got into the hotel. I've just put my bikini on to have a look at the view on the balcony. Hello, Lake Como. Okay, so right now I think I'm just gonna head down to the pool and yeah, have some snacks. I forgot to mention, by the way, I've already had my breakfast. So I had it before I left, I had some yogurt, but um, obviously um, I didn't show it. So I'm gonna do breakfast for tomorrow and I'll show you that. But right now I'm going to the restaurant area and I'm just gonna have some, why is it zoomed in? Right now. This is what Seth likes to eat, the crisps that they give you. They give you crisps everywhere here actually in um, Italy. They also give you bread with everything. So I've actually ordered, I think mozzarella and tomato. So, I mean, that doesn't have bread with it, but. For me, I think a real problem that we have like in a lot of Western cultures is that a lot of our meals are very, very carb heavy. I think it's important to have a balanced meal. So I ordered the dish that has vegetables in it, fat in it, and then I'll have some of the bread on the side as my carb. I know a lot of people say that carbs are bad and all that, but I mean, for me, I eat carbs, I love carbs. I mean, I prefer to eat brown bread because, you know, it has, it's more nutritious, right? But I mean, I don't mind eating white bread either. Caprese? Oh, that's me. For you? Yeah. That's here. Yeah, right, so, me? so yeah, it has mostly vegetables. Well, tomato is more of a fruit, right? But mostly vegetables, and then it has some olives. And then obviously you get protein from the cheese. He's eating a lasagna, I think. Steph kind of has a naturally good build. I mean, he could eat pretty... <laughs> Why are you giving that look? <laughs> well, I think Steph has a naturally good build. I mean, for me, genetically, I'm more genetically inclined to be thicker, whereas Steph is more genetically inclined to be slimmer. Although the best thing about being with Seth is that he likes to eat healthy, which is amazing for me. Honestly, the worst thing is when you get a boyfriend who makes you fat. <laughs> Drinks wise, I'm having a Aperol Spritz because, you know, I'm on holiday, so why not? I mean, it's not great to drink your calories, to be honest, but I mean, compared to a beer, it's probably a better option. What have you done? Oh god, so funny. <laughs> but I probably eat the slowest out of everyone I know, but... I feel like it's nice to kind of just savor your food, you know? And really taste every bite. It's also good to eat slowly because you're more aware of your fullness levels and then you can actually suss out whether you're hungry, whether you want more, or maybe you're just, you know, you're ready, you're done, you're chill. I just put on some balsamic vinegar. It's one of my favorite dressing. It's really low calorie and delicious. I just want to recommend to you guys this sunscreen. For me, I have really sensitive skin. I can't just use any kind of sunscreen, especially for my face. I always use this. It doesn't break me out. A lot of sunscreens are like super oily. They break you out and they just feel 
Skin cancer really affects so many black people and there's just myth that because you have dark skin you don't need to protect your skin, which of course you do. If you have dark skin like me, it provides you with about an SPF of like 13, which obviously does not protect you against strong sun. So you have to have an SPF and obviously if you have dark skin like me, any old SPF in the store is going to make you look blue, purple, not great. Even if you have light skin, white skin, a lot of SPFs do give you that cast, whereas this one does not leave you with any cast. It's so, so light, it feels like you're wearing nothing, whereas most SPFs, when you put it on, it feels like this tacky, kind of thick layer of something. Obviously, you're either on a holiday or you're just enjoying, you know, the sun in your own country. You do not need to be feeling tacky. You want to be feeling bomb, and you definitely don't want your makeup to get that oily, kind of shifting, kind of stuff going on you want it to just sit nicely i don't really like this okay so i just used i went upstairs earlier and i just used this product that i've been like trying it's an spf that you put over your makeup i've always wondered about oh how do i reapply spf when i already have makeup on so i bought this product tried it and actually i think it gives me like a white tinge on my face i don't know if you can see it I'll insert the product picture afterwards so you can see what it looks like and I'll still link it below in the description. I mean, it might be just my skin, like specifically. Maybe if you have lighter skin, maybe it will work for you. So, I didn't do it today because I felt like, you know, the 40 minute walk up and down is quite a lot. And I think that's kind of enough exercise. But sometimes when I don't feel like I'm getting enough exercise on my holiday or something, then I'll just get into the pool and kind of do like little exercises in the pool. I'll probably insert like a little clip of me doing it. With working out, I think you should start with whatever you enjoy and whatever you can stick to and be consistent with. Some people really underestimate the power of walking. If you can do an hour walk every single day, that's gonna be amazing. I mean, even if it's not an hour, even if it's half of that, it's still gonna make such a difference to your body and you will feel it. Or if you can't even do that, if you can commit to, I don't know, a 30 minute workout three times a week, that's gonna make a huge difference as well. I like to do like a set kind of thing that I like to do and then I do like different kind of exercises and just, you know, fun activities. So sometimes if I haven't like done my normal workouts like a lot at home, then I'll go for a long walk or I'll go climbing. I love going climbing, like bouldering. We are going to the city of Bellagio. Well, we're staying there, but we're going to the actual town. So it should be fun. Okay, so we found this restaurant um, and they have loads of mussels. I love mussels and quite a lot of seafood. Usually when I go to a restaurant and I don't like the menu, I look for the sides and I kind of see if I can get like three sides and have like a whole meal out of that. Because a lot of times the sides can be like a little vegetable, like grilled vegetables or soups or stuff like that that you can kind of put together and have like a really nice meal. But to be honest, I do usually look at the menu beforehand and kind of suss out whether the restaurant is for me. I don't usually choose to go to restaurants that don't have healthy options for me. I kind of avoid anything like that. Just got back from the toilet and look how big my plate of food is. It's literally massive. But yeah, squeeze a bit of lemon on here. And stuff is also getting massive. So he has it with pasta. Enjoy stuff. So we decided to walk to our hotel. Oh, it's so long. So we've been walking for about maybe 30 minutes. And it's literally been so scary. Oh my god, all you can see is my teeth. Oh, at least we're getting in some exercise. Oh, at least this path is lit though. The last path we went up was completely dark and we had to use Steph's phone. This is someone else's house. Oh my god, no, this is a hotel. Look at the frog. You ever eaten frog's legs? <laughs> this is a way in a day, right? Froggy. Nothing. Oh, it moved, it moved. Stop it, there. I think you're blinding it with the light. You treat the frog better than me. <laughs> Okay, so we just got to our room and I'm going to bed. So I'm going to do my nighttime skincare routine, which consists of this. This is the take the day off from Clinique. I love this cleansing balm. Literally, a little bit goes a long way and it literally takes off all your makeup, fragrance free, and it doesn't irritate my skin and I have a very sensitive skin. Now after that, I use the Freedom Gel. This is a really cheap one, easy, but it just works for my skin, especially because I have sensitive skin, so I have to 
be careful. Then I top it off with this moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's Skin Rescuer. Literally, it's made for sensitive skin and it kind of is probably the only moisturizer ever that doesn't make my skin weird. Most moisturizers give me some sort of like rash or maybe just really oily and yeah it's just the perfect kind of balance it's not too oily for me and it's not too drying for me it's kind of like just that perfect in between if you think you have really dry skin or you think you have really you know oily skin it's probably because you haven't got that right moisturizer for you i used to think i had really oily skin but it's because i was using like cocoa butter the one for your body for my actual face and it was just making me oily all the time and anyway, i'm gonna take my makeup off go to sleep and then i'll see you tomorrow for breakfast Okay, so I'm pretty sure last time we talked, I was telling you about my skincare routine, so I'll link all of those things below if you want to use any of them. Right now I'm at breakfast, I know I look like I'm naked, but I'm not, I'm wearing a little boob tube. But um, yeah, so this is my breakfast. The yogurt is like a plain kind of Greek yogurt, it was a bit of granola. And then I don't know why I got this random little bit of cheese, but I don't know. I guess when it's like a buffet, we just want to kind of try things. Don't say that, right? No. You can do it. Take it. Brushing my teeth again, of course, because of my Invisalign. So I don't bring it on holiday because I always lose it. But I have the best toothbrush. I absolutely love it. It's one of those Sony Care ones, and it's an electric one. Using this toothbrush right now kind of like gives my teeth a weird kind of feeling. Like it's definitely, definitely nowhere near as clean and as good as my electric toothbrush. And I have to send pictures to my orthodontist pretty regularly of my teeth and they've seen the difference in the cleanliness of my teeth so I'm quite happy to know, well I'm not happy that my teeth aren't as clean as normal right now but I'm happy to know that my electric toothbrush actually makes like a massive difference. Honestly probably one of my best purchases of I think 2019 I got it and yeah best purchases ever. Literally I remember when I first got it I kept like running my like tongue over my teeth because it just felt so clean and smooth it's just it makes such a difference one thing i don't have and i really want to try is one of those water floss things because i kind of have to floss pretty regularly right now because of my invisalign so if anyone does actually have a water floss please let me know and tell me what you think of it okay guys so that's my what i eat in a day over well obviously it's kind of a what i eat in 24 hours because i did my breakfast afterwards but anyway thank you as always for watching and i will see you in the next video She's a Mona Lisa